Oh, the <laughs> yeah, there he is. It's Sonic. Guys, look. Don't look at anything else on the page. Look at Sonic. That's how you know it's a Sonic comic. <laughs> if you showed this page to anyone, what what is this from? They would not be able to tell you that this was Sonic. No way. I can't believe this. The Sonic the Hedgehog comic books are weird. Well, at least they used to be. The new series being published under IDW has been consistently fantastic, and I always suggest that people check it out. However, the series running right now is still relatively new and isn't even close to the length of its predecessor, which boasted 290 issues, as well as various spin-offs, crossovers, and miniseries. That predecessor is the one and only Archie Sonic. That's right, Archie Comics had the license to make their own breed of Sonic comics, starting all the way back in 1993 and lasting all the way until its unceremonious end in 2017. This amount of time and development would not only make it one of the longest running franchise based comic book series ever, but would also bring forth various amounts of insane plot points, bizarre retcons, and this man. Since the Archie series started fairly early on in Sonic's gaming career, the writers were forced to start from a practically blank slate. With this, Archie Sonic's identity became somewhat unique, starting as a more comedy-centric series and then slowly transitioning into more and more serious stories. This comic got weird and it got dark. It's a story about war, genocide, but it also has a character named Evil Sonic, who is just Sonic with sunglasses and a leather jacket because yes, characters suffer from mental illness, PTSD, trauma, serious stuff like dementia. But it's also a comic where Knuckles turns green for some reason. Ooh! I, I swear to God this is plot relevant. I swear. This sort of tonal whiplash only became worse over time as the video games grew larger in scope. These same writers who had created their own unique Sonic universe by this point? Well, yeah, now they had to haphazardly stitch together the comic lore-wise to coexist more with the games. Yes, this and this needed to somehow coexist and remain tonally consistent. And as you'll come to see, this had some problematic effects long term. You see, what made these comics so special is that they, for the most part, took place in one singular continuity. And instead of rebooting the series to match the more modern aesthetic like any normal person would, writers at the time were forced to quickly transition the older content to the newer style of Sonic whenever possible. This of course created some very obvious growing pains. And while older Archie Sonic was already pretty different than what you would expect a Sonic comic to be like, this adjustment period was really really crazy. Like, take what they did with Charmy the Bee, for example. As he appeared in more and more games, his personality and character was solidified as a goofy, carefree kid, the youngest member of Team Chaotix, and some would say the most annoying one. Okay, you get it. His voice was very ear grating. However, in the early comics, he was instead based on his original character description from the game Knuckles Chaotix, which was now very out of date. Because of this, Charmy was presented as more of an older 16 year old. He even had his own proper girlfriend and was even considered royalty. He was the prince of his own entire kingdom. And obviously, none of this information lined up with the newer games. So in response, the higher ups put pressure on the creative team to somehow restart Charmy's character from scratch without needing to overhaul the comic's current storyline at the time. So, you might be asking, what exactly did the Archie writing team have to do to properly realign his character? If you guessed permanent brain damage, you would be correct. Also, you need to find help. This is the sort of stuff I'm talking about when I say that these comics were fucking insane. But don't get it twisted, it's that very insanity that kept me engaged. Even if the writers were put under strict deadlines and unfortunate mandates, the comics always stayed as this fascinatingly weird corner of the Sonic universe. Some of it was definitely bad, and some of it was really good, but I can never look back and say that it wasn't interesting to read about. Archie Sonic was wacky. Although, of course, none of this even scratches the surface of the rabbit hole that is the series' most infamous crew member, Kenneth W. Penders II, otherwise known by fans as Ken Penders.
This guy not only did some of the most notorious art and writing for the series in its earlier years, but he's also responsible for the massive retcon and legal battle that resulted in every character he had ever had a hand in creating being erased from the story's continuity. It's a whole bag of worms to get into, but basically he sued Sega and Archie Comics for the rights to the characters he worked on, which then led to a massive comic event that effectively wiped every aspect of the story he worked on from existence. Now just to clarify, quick disclaimer, this obviously isn't to discredit other writers when it comes to the rights of characters. I'm very much in the camp that the crew for any comic should have ownership or even partial ownership over the characters that they create, but it's kind of hard to feel sorry about Pender's situation too much after reading his Twitter for more than like two seconds. He's a narcissist, bigot, and he also tried to copyright characters that looked like this. Not to brag or anything, but uh, just in case you needed further proof that I was incredibly based, I got blocked by him after performing a legendary ratio. Dude has probably not recovered. Now that I've set the stage, let me introduce the real point of this video. In order to highlight just how unhinged these comics truly were, I forced my friends Mikey, Gerber, and Pasty to blind react to random out of context pages of the series live on Discord. We lost our minds recording this, and while I have a base familiarity with Archie Sonic, my friends do not. So please enjoy this video of me trying my best to explain Sonic lore to my friends who are losing their collective shit. Uh, I'm gonna let Mikey pick first. Mikey? Oh, okay. So you um, have to name two numbers, one between 100 and 159, and then a random page from that issue. So first, give me your first number. I'll, I'll use my two lucky numbers. Let's go with 28. This has 28 pages. All right, let's go with six. All right, six. It's a pretty, it's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty standard well, issue, doing? Sonic hurting his friends. Say it ain't so, Sonic. I'm actually is unsure Sonic what's happening on. Is Sonic evil? Is Sonic like getting mad at this or is Sonic being like, I'm gonna hit things, I'm angry. <laughs> I'm angry, I'm gonna hit things. Yeah, no, that's yeah, I I the new movie that says that. <laughs> I've read my fair share of Sonic Archie comics. I have no idea what's going on in this page at all. Great start. Not much else to say besides uh, abuse. 158. 158. That's a pretty good pick. You know, it's almost his last issue. There's going to be something penultimate. In. Jesus Christ. There's so many text boxes. <laughs> this is a go, Sonic go, comic. Go, Why is there go, so go, much go, lore? There's a huge difference from the one we just saw. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who's this old man hedgehog? Is this Sonic's grandpa? Yeah, no, that's that's Uncle Chuck, dude. What you don't you don't know Uncle Chuck? As seen in Sonic 125. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's Uncle Chuck. He's he's Sonic's uh, uncle, and he used to run, I think, a chili dog stand, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, not much else to say except the fact that there's so many speech bubbles. Of course, I'm going with 69. Funny okay. number, you know. <laughs> okay, Whoa. 69. <laughs> Daring. Today, aren't we? DC loves funny weed. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, no! <laughs> Who's this? I, that's a human man. That that's oh. Gary Coleman. Juice joint <laughs> jeopardy. Oh gosh, there's so many wrinkles. Oh, no. Yeah, why did they draw him like this? Like, look at his forehead. It's like you can see the wrinkles of his brain. His forehead is like on the top of his head. <laughs> oh, feet! Ew. Ew! The first thing I saw oh, was yes. feet. Finally, a pasty appropriate page. Yeah, of course this is a pasty page. Look, his OC's <laughs> at the bottom. I didn't scroll all line. the way down. I'm sure that he's smelling this like see, thing you know, here, but. Feet. Looking at the feet and then seeing this is just not a good pairing. I literally like the crop of him sniffing with the implication. He's just sniffing some toes. Yeah, he's, he's just, just like, you don't know oh. until you scroll down. There's suspense in this panel. Hmm, care to try? Okay. Dang, what a baddie. I, um, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the, the, Why they draw her like muscular that? muscular legs. Hold the fuck on. Do you see the thing on the left? Torn between two hotties. Heart held hostage. <laughs> the Sonic universe might also be classified as hot chick heaven. And includes. then it like, plus, Rad Red might be dead, but it doesn't stop him from getting his own story. It's the third installment of Afterlife. Oh yeah, Knuckles dies. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, right. Die. I really want to know the juice of this comic. I want to go with 22. 22, solid number. This shows me nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? It shows you so much. <laughs> Sonic's dad is here. Focus. Your dad's here. 
Let's take a look at the cover. Sonic the Hedgehog goes hog wild. Why does Tails look depressed in Little <laughs> Yeah, there was a whole arc where like he just got diagnosed with depression. It looks like that you would Tails. see him on a milk cart. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this, Fox? <laughs> <laughs> could you could you scroll up to the top right panel, please? Oh, yeah, this. Check out the, Princess the Sally in a hot... Oh, pink string <laughs> bikini. Wow. Why, Why did they keep so... sexualizing this this rodent? Why is he so horny for her? It, I feel like a lot of people on the writing team were horny for Sally because, like, even a lot of the art later on is, like, like they make Sally, you know... No, I don't know. Please elaborate. No, I, please elaborate. No, I don't need to. As much no. detail as possible, please. Yeah, please get yourself demonetized. <laughs> you see, why? Why do they gotta do Sally like that? <laughs> why do they oh gotta god. do Sonic like that? Yo, oh my god! <laughs> I, you go up to Sally. I, what's this art change? Yeah, I, the Urge Comics had like a lot of different art styles. This is not Ken Pender's art style, by the way. I'll, I'll make it clear when it's Ken if I see it. Oh no, there's some drama. There's some anime drama. Anime Sonic eyes. Yeah, anime Sonic eyes. So, <laughs> Ew. so this is, I think this is King Julian or something. King uh, he's, he's <laughs> King Julian. <laughs> so Sonic must have done something real bad. Somehow you managed to disobey me on both occasions and... Oh no, he's happy about it. Oh, it was a fake out. Okay. Well, that was fucking stupid. Yes. All right. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, this is oh, this is awesome. So this looks like Sonic. That's pretty cool. And then you just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ignore them. Look at like the, the dead eyes. Like <laughs> he's blazed he's out of no his soul. fucking head. God, oh, this, good. this cover art is so busy. I couldn't even process it when I first saw it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what is that? Okay, seventeen. Oh, here we go. Oh, what the yes. fuck? Fuck. What is he doing to his fingernail? You know what's hilarious? If you showed oh. this page to anyone and be like, what, what is this from? And you blocked out like the little page number at the bottom thing, they would not be able to tell you that this was Sonic. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I like him laying down in the you know how to do it to him pose up there. <laughs> yeah, he is in the you know how to do it to him pose. <laughs> I love this art style actually for this comic. This is pretty cute, yeah. especially this page, this panel right here. I like that monkey just looking back, just like, what the fuck you looking at, <laughs> stupid ass bitch? Oh, excellent! Dog with normal <laughs> proportions! Why does yeah, the we... dog look like it's got cum on it? Yeah, I was gonna say, what's all over the dog? <laughs> what is the, the dog, dog doing? doing? <laughs> yeah, we did send the thing! We did it! End the video. <laughs> Why does Sonic eat chili dogs like that? John. Is he on fire? <laughs> he, oh, he is on fire! <laughs> Sonic's on fire, he's like, oh man, I gotta eat these chili dogs to put myself he's out. Fucking chili dogs. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay. Oh, this is a Penders one too. Yeah. Oh, look. Boy. Yeah. Spaz and Penders. Twenty-five years later. So much is happening. I am overstimulated. I am one hundred percent think that this this is Penders art style. One hundred percent. Yes. It's gotta be. There's just so much going on. I don't know what to look at. I don't know. I don't either. either. Oh, this is Espio. He looks Ew. horrible. What the hell? <laughs> the place where you think the horn would be is just not. It's incredible. Oh, this is Knuckles. This is Knuckles in the future. He gets a, his cool hat. He's a hat. It's a cowboy hat in the future. Oh, wow. shit. And at the bottom, he's telling us to read more free comics at Read Comic Online. Well, oh, wow. <laughs> thanks, Knuckles. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for the tip. Oh, that's actually really cute. Sonic is a vampire. This is Tails. This is Super Sonic and Knuckles. And this is uh, Sonic again. Oh, oh, God. We just, we know where they live, too. Because <laughs> yeah. Oh, shout, yeah. Out, shout out to Quentin from Jacksonville, Florida. Hopefully he's still here. <laughs> I'm going to give him a high five. <laughs> We're doxing them by accident. Oh, no. the, the Sonic Archie oh, comics yeah. just like doxing fan artists. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sonic is in a space... Uh, he's gonna crash bubble. and die. He's gonna oh, crash and die. Oh, this. <laughs> yeah, there he is. It's Sonic. Guys, look. Don't look at anything else on the page. Look at Sonic. That's how you know it's a <laughs> Sonic comic. This is my favorite fan art because my brain is trying to comprehend what they were trying to accomplish. Eggman. Yeah, I know it's Eggman, but what's he riding? The Egg Chicken Walker. Computer. Yeah, the... Enhance. <laughs> Computer. Enhance. As you can see, um. <laughs> nope. Let's psychoanalyze this piece for a second. As you can tell, uh, the yellow triangle is pointing right because they think that the left is wrong. Uh, the left leg. Pass. <laughs> Smash. <laughs>
You want me to just turn this video into a Smasher Pass while Pacey's in the bathroom and see that? <laughs> oh, this is so unfair. I can't believe they put Cameron Turner's art right next to Zach's. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Zach should feel ashamed. Yeah, get out of here, Zach. You don't even want to show your your state. Ugh. Put your address. <laughs> You're too afraid to be docs. Wait, hold on. Why does the tail's enemy the state? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's not my friend anymore. He participated in the raid on the Capitol. Why is Tails fighting Sonic? I forget. So I left you behind on a lot of missions. You were too young for most of them. I didn't want you hurt. That's what I used to believe, but then I factored in all the times you teased me and made fun of me and never believed in me when I talked about my own adventures. Oh, he, Tails is kicking his ass. Wow. Oh my God. Dude, I tease everybody. It's what I do. I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. This feels like two, two friends that like got into an argument on Discord. And they're like, dude, it's not even that serious. Come down. So you hooked up with Fiona to help me. Oh, yeah. Sonic got together with Tails' uh, crush. Um, oh, unfortunate that's wording <laughs> with new definitions of what hooked up means. No, I, I think they know what they were talking about. It's like, you fucked my girlfriend, Sonic. You blew my crush's b out. <laughs> you think we're friends? <laughs> you think we're besties? She can't walk the same way she used to, Sonic! <laughs> it's all your fault! <laughs> you see, they're all friends again, they're like, Oh no, oh, Sonic's just... retaliating on the right! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll do it again! <laughs> I'll do it again, little scamp! Knuckles depart in the last month! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Thanks! Knuckles taught me a thing or two before he left. Knuckles departed last month. <laughs> I'm dead! died last month. <laughs> yeah, Knuckles, <laughs> Knuckles died off screen. <laughs> <laughs> You're also laughing at Snively, right? I'm not yeah. alone in this. <laughs> Snively looks that is like that. Me putting spoons in the microwave. <laughs> Allow me. <laughs> the fuck? Oh yeah, wait. This is I'll the one go. with like, the Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the art in the, this, they literally made it look like Dragon Ball Z. This. Oh yeah. Look at him. That is. He's just from Dragon Ball. Get, how did they get away with right this? There. I have no idea. There's one where he looks like. Ew. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, Knuckles is—he's uh, been enlightened. This, this. Yeah, no, this. that's look hardcore. at this. <laughs> it's just Dragon Ball. It's not even like doing homage. They just traced a fucking image from Dragon Ball. I do like how all the rest of the images, though, of uh, of this character, none of them match that Dragon Ball art style at all. Like, look at the top right. Like, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that face! Go back oh, one. <laughs> oh. I feel like that that guy would be able to give some like good sloppy toppy. Great, thank you. <laughs> I was just picturing him saying Squid Games. <laughs> Squid Games. Wow, that's so beautiful. Yeah, never get tired of seeing that happen. Oh yeah, when like they summon like the power of God to fish. I love some. <laughs> They're just electrocuting all the fish in that lake. <laughs> I didn't even know that this happened. That they just met each other. I just thought they never He's did. So detailed. He's so dehydrated. It's like stacking like your mashed potatoes all into a mountain. <laughs> if you colored him white, I, I wouldn't be shocked if it was just like a drawing of a snowman. Oh yeah, this is that is, knuckles? Is green yeah, that knuckles. is knuckles. So don't ask me how this happened. But for a certain period in the Sonic Archie comics, Knuckles was just green. I googled it. He's imbued with chaos energy. Oh, pfft, of course. <laughs> chaos energy. Why didn't I think of that? Come on, I'm stupid. It's what happens when you on that damn phone all the time? <laughs> <laughs> it's the 5G towers, I'm telling you. Like, he's even doing the motion, like, oh, you gotta listen to me. Knuckles, you always on that damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> good comic. This is a good comic, right off the bat. My Girls rule! Comic. Wait. Girls can't eat pizza? What are you doing? I love how for no reason there's just the word infatuation just just there. Infatuation. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh yeah, oh Knuckles is dead. Yeah, sorry. Rip Knuckles. And for some Thank, reason Vector still chooses to listen to his tunes. Vector's at a funeral and he still has his headphones. What's out. he listening to? Like what what's what's Vector's music choice? 100 Gex. <laughs> yeah, 100 Gex. A 100 Gex song with the low pass filter so you, like you hear it in the back. It's like I'm oh, my main man. He's he's money machine. <laughs> money machine. <laughs> oh it's time, Knuckles! The Chaos Force has chosen you! <laughs> they take him away. Wow, they really leave on him dead. What the Good. fuck? This is a kid's comic. <laughs> Wait, they didn't even, like, 
put him in a coffin or anything. They're just leaving <laughs> just the corpse. Him They're just like the birds will get him. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like one of those. Are him. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those nature's indigenous burials. Now. All right, everyone, we must leave before the wolves come. <laughs> <laughs> all those wolves and shit are also like Sonic characters. So it's just like some dudes just eating his body. But yeah, that's 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 Sonic comics. What do you guys think? Oh, epic. Sonic the Hedgehog is cool. I... Dude, he is so cool! Dang. If Sonic has one fan, it's me. If Sonic has ten fans, I am one of them. If Sonic has no fans, I am dead. <laughs> Excellent, thank you.